Hey everyone, this is Eric. And now we're going to look at that the... Hey everyone, this is Eric. Now we're going to look at the right function. R-I-G-H-T. It's right here. That's the process of extracting X number of characters from the right portion of a string. So, here, I'm going to say my last name is whatever's in range A2 and again my if I go to my worksheet I see in range A2 I have John Everett Maxwell if your name just happens to be John Everett Maxwell well congratulations <laughs> congratulations you are the winner of what I don't know yet but um, you know that would be kind of interesting if your name were John Everett Maxwell that would be, uh, be quite a coincidence that you'd be watching this but anyway that's that's great uh, so the la last name is whatever's in range a2 now I want to go ahead and put a breakpoint here kind of see it at a step by step so I bring up the f8 and I'm continuing here and I'm saying okay John Everett Maxwell is in range a2 and I'm gonna assign it to a variable Call this your last name. And notice I, I made it's your last name the data type of string, which is good. Okay, I guess I wanted to hold the string variable for some tags. So alphanumeric characters. That's what a string character is. 255 alphanumeric characters. So I want to extract from this last name, from this name, the last eight characters and that's going to end up being the uh, being my last name okay ultimately so that's it's really going to be named but I didn't want to call this name then uh, to mention another variable last name so that'd be uh, I could my computer computers nowadays can hold that can hold the uh, uh, they have high memory but if you're thinking of uh, computers in the ain't, uh, ancient world, uh, let's say 10 or more years ago, uh, you're going to have computers that were lacking in memory, and so they would, you would have to be kind of, uh, you would have to be consider, considerate of the memory requirements for the computer, but now the computers uh, have changed and they have more memory, so uh, you're gonna you don't have you could assign two variables if you want to do it one as your name one as your last name but here I'm just saying I uh, want well, my ultimate thing to be last name and so I don't care if the the yeah put the whole name in the last name and then parse it out afterwards so here that's what I'm doing I'm taking the whole name and parsing it out so and put it in, into a uh, just the last name. Now I want to take off this this uh, here f frontal space. I'm taking out space. So I'm, I'm taking out space before the M with this trim function. What the trim function does is it gets rid of any lingering spaces. Okay, so watch this. See. Now I have no lingering spaces and range C2, I'm going to put Maxwell. Bang. So let's go to range C and look. In the address box, it says range C2. And here I have range C2. And um, that is my my last eight digits, eight letters of John Everett Maxwell. So I have a list of names here. I can go through that through the list and just say okay, I want this, 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 I want this last name field. In the next example, you're gonna actually we're gonna actually see that. So I'm gonna go over here and copy this, saves me the amount of time typing this. So this is a more advanced example. I'm gonna copy and just paste over this stuff. And then I'm gonna beautify it by by going ahead and uh, let's say this and I'm going to do the this 
and I'm going to put another bed. It helps by beautifying it. It helps me. It helps me understand the code a little better, and it helps me read. It helps the reading process because if I don't, if I stop in a pretty format, it's hard to read. So here are dashing and variables. Uh, uh, the last name again. Position one. Position two. These are two variables that are gonna help me know the position of the spaces. Not where the last name starts and the total string length. Okay, the total of whatever the last name is. Okay, this comment belongs with this. And this comment belongs with this. And this comment belongs with this. And this comment belongs with. You may want to pause the tape, but we're going to step through this a little bit at a time. So I'm going to my F8 key. And I'm saying, okay, the whole name is going to be John Edward Maxwell. Okay. Now the string length is going to be, I'm going to use this len function to find the total length of the string. Okay. Len of last name. Notice that it knows just by using that the length of the string is 20. So I count, count these out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The beauty of uh, the beauty of tape or these uh, whatever these videos you can fast forward. You don't have to listen to count on. So again, this is correct. Twenty. So the the length of the string and the length of the, the last name there. So now we have assigned. We said okay, the total length of the string is is twenty. Find the position of the first space. Okay, well let's go. Find the position of the first place. Start at the one. Last name. Space. Okay. John Ever Maxwell. We already. We are already in a. In a uh, kind of a, a preceding lesson. In this same video. We already established that. It was in position five. Which is true. It's still in position five. Okay. Incorrect the position by one. Remember, we have John Everett Maxwell is the whole name, and we want to we want to find the last name. So we want to start at uh, we want to start out. We want to find out where the where the last name starts. Okay. Incorrect the position by one. So we're finding where the, where the last name starts. So it's incrementing the position by one. We're going to start there now at six. Because we don't want, we don't want to know where the position of your job was anymore. We want to find the position of the next space. Okay. Now we need to find the position of the second space using the position of the first space. Again, the first space we're starting at that point. At the text past the first space. So at the E and Everett. So John Everett, E and Everett is the first space. So when you find a space, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be right space before the M at Maxwell. Okay, the next space is thirteen. Now you count all these up, you're gonna get the first space starting at thirteen. You're gonna be a higher, it's gonna be a higher position than six. So just for, just gotta check yourself. Hey, it's going to be a higher position than 6 anyway. And the INT last name is the total string length minus, it's going to be, it's going to be 7. Okay, the total string length, find the, the amount of the X drive by subtracting the position of the second space from the total string length. So you have the total string length again, minus 13, wherever the position of the the blank space is. And that just so happens to be where the first letter is. The M and Maxwell. So 
uh, use that on your uh, whole thing to find out the the last name. Use that if you have a whole list of names. Go down through your list. Use that code and just extract the last name. Because you'll know. I mean, despite it may not be the same. You may have the last name of Lovell. You may have the last name of Lobel. It may have the last name of Johnson or Smith. Uh, but they're all different lengths. But they're all, they're all going to have a space. You're going to have a space between the first and the last name, middle and the last name. Okay? You're always going to have the space. So look for the space. Now the right, it's just going to be the Maxwell. Okay? Just, if we know that it's seven, we're extracting the, the name, final last name, the whole, the whole name, just the last seven characters. Bang. Maxwell is the name. Okay, so bang. We're gonna run it again. I'll press the F5 to run it real quick. Bang. Thanks for watching, and that's the right function.